Uh, and now we've got more on this one. We're going to speak to a law enforcement expert, a retired Los Angeles Police Department Captain Jerry Rodriguez. He is joining us live. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, you've got 35 years of experience in law enforcement, but man, uh, 50 years, this has been a problem according to that Civilian Oversight Commission. With 26 of your years at the LAPD, what does this watchdog report mean to you? Is this something that you've seen in action or is this a surprise to you? You know, unfortunately, it is not a surprise. Uh, it has been around. Uh, I, I was shocked that it was 50 years, but it has been around a long time, certainly during my time in LAPD. And it's troubling to me, and it should be troubling to elected officials and anyone that has ever worn a badge. Uh, this is something that most departments do not condone. It is something that we work hard to combat uh, street gangs. So it's disheartening, it's troubling, and, and it, it takes away uh, what we work so hard to do, and that's to become legitimate within the communities that we serve. Well, you know, in the sporting world, they kind of say you're either coaching it or you're allowing it to happen. So I wonder if the existence of these cliques, these gangs within the L.A. Sheriff's Department, is the leadership there, are they coaching it or are they allowing it to happen? Well, listen, as stated before, I, I work the adjoining department in LAPD, and I've had very good friends that uh, have served with honor and have worked very hard to provide good quality service. However, we know from news, you know, uh, prior news uh, articles and from testimony that not only did some in prior administrations uh, allow, some encouraged, some promoted, there was high ranking uh, sheriffs who wore tattoos. I do believe, and I have a lot of faith in the new, newly elected Sheriff Luna, uh, because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take real commitment from the top and to uh, ensure that any acts such as this uh, go addressed and handled appropriately. He has a good track record. I believe uh, we need to give him a chance. And I'm hopeful that his efforts, in spite of any stonewalling, will prevail. I'm curious about the, the desire to be part of these, because we're talking about very high-ranking officials who not only... Uh, acknowledged to be part of groups that are called things like the Grim Reapers, the Vikings, I mean, and they have tattoos, uh, these deputies that are involved. What would drive somebody that's in law enforcement to section themselves off in a clique like this, get a gang tattoo, and yet still hold this badge and, and, and try to enforce the law, even as they're kind of, I mean, they're part of a gang? Unfortunately, uh, gangs are all over our society. We in law enforcement see them day in and day out. When you're in a penal institution, which the sheriffs work at the county jail, you also see these cliques, these gangs. Uh, and there is a undercurrent of us against them mentality that if left unchecked, you could see, I have seen, where some of this behavior can manifest. Uh, and it starts out with, we need to stick together, we need to protect each other, and then you see this unhealthy cohesion that manifests in some cases as a gang with tattoos. And if you were to look at them and take away the badge, they look sound and in some cases, unfortunately, act just like a regular street gang. But and isn't law enforcement supposed to be better than the people they are policing and uh, in the case of, of uh, de detention officers, the people that they are guarding? Listen, you're absolutely right, but who do we hire from? We hire from the human ranks. And if the department does not have the right checks and balances, the right uh, internal affairs, the right investigations, and really not just put out, and I'm not saying the sheriff's had, but it can't just be a mouthpiece. You have to follow it up with corrective actions. You have to demonstrate through actions what will and will not be tolerated. I'm not sure that that has been done up to now. And under Sheriff Villanueva, some of these folks that had gang tattoos were promoted. We will see what Robert Luna, the new sheriff, has to do. That's Jerry Rodriguez, and we thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.